<laughs> so in today's video, we are going to be talking about the differences between America and Taiwan. So the Western culture versus the Asian culture. And today our guest speaker, Pat, he will be talking about his experiences here in Taiwan. So me being an American and having lived in Taiwan now for over four years, I've noticed some big differences between Taiwan and America. And today I'm going to go through the top five differences I've noticed in my experience, you know, living here in Taiwan. Alright, so the first difference that you notice when you're in Taiwan is... Trash. Trash and recycle. So back in America, we have one day every week, whether that be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And in the morning, you bring your trash out to the street and the trash collecting patrol team will come down your street and pick up your trash. And then at the end of the day, you bring back in your cans and that is that. Whereas compared in Taiwan, you have the ice cream truck! <laughs> Which for me is a huge difference, especially when I work at the one time that the trash comes by my house. So taking out trash I find is very complicated and difficult, but this is a beautiful island and it seems to be working. And again, you have the ice cream truck! <laughs> Maybe explain why we think it's an, I think it's an ice cream truck. Oh, because so many of my foreign friends have said that they're at home and then they hear the music, da -da 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 they run outside and they yes, ice cream! And they go outside and say, ice cream. I mean, it's not an ice cream truck. It's a rubbish truck. And so that's why people think it's an ice cream truck because back home, we have the ice cream truck that comes from time to time with music like that. It's the same exact concept, but where we're from, they sell ice cream. And in Taiwan, when you hear it, it is to pick up trash. So this is a huge difference between Taiwan and the rest of the world. And it's quite interesting because I wonder how much trash people here in Asia produce, produce, uh, how much trash there is in Asia every day since the rubbish truck comes every day. And every day we see like people waiting outside their homes with bags of trash, <laughs> bags of trash, <laughs> and to throw away. But back home it's like once a week and just like a Exactly, and then that's one thing that I think the reason why it works in Taiwan is it brings attention to it. It's an everyday thing. It's not just something, oh, you wait till Sunday or Tuesday morning to bring out your trash. You know, everyone kind of is thinking about it and it kind of gets everyone more thinking about recycling and separating their trash and it makes it more of a, brings more attention to it having the, the garbage. And trucks. I guess if you miss it on one day, you don't have to wait till, like another week. <laughs> True. Our next major cultural difference is the sports culture. Now in Asia, or in Taiwan more specifically, young teenage boys are super obsessed with basketball and baseball. So what's the sports culture like in the States? Quite similar to Taiwan, but again, this we're talking about the differences. So in America, we look up to these huge stars, the same people a lot of the Taiwanese do. So you know, we have the NBA, so we have the Kobe's and the LeBron's, and we have the MLB for Major League Baseball. But I'm not talking about pros, I'm talking more about a student's life and how that is incorporated into sports. So in America, every day after I finished school, I would go to soccer or basketball practice. Something that's very different from Taiwan. So um, with this, it creates a lot of dynamics and differences between um, life at school. You know, you have rivalries between schools that are very close to you because you compete in not just academics, but in sports. And this is something that's really, really big in your childhood growing up. And I think a huge difference between Taiwan and America that many people don't consider. So I guess, yeah, you're right. So after school that has sports clubs like netball, badminton, yeah. or even those Asian 
dance. In Taiwan, it's like you go to dance in the MRT, but I go to, you know, get on a bus and play against my other school, which they do also have in Taiwan, but I'm saying every school in America, this is a huge thing. It's a little bit more important than school at sometimes. Um, yeah, I guess sports does build like teamwork and... Yeah, and... It's just there's a lot of perks of being a student athlete and doing well <laughs> in America. Right. A lot of people look up to you and you become a big person in your city or in your little town that you live. So uh, the students in America are more sports based. So yes. They have a better sports culture than in Taiwan. Well, maybe Asian students are more academically based this and that's why they're smarter. I mean, sure. This is true. <laughs> now, when it comes to book smarts, again, for me, growing up, I was actually an athlete, so I'm, I was this type of person, and school kind of was number two, and performing well on the soccer field for me was my number one priority. Something that I think a lot of Taiwanese teens in high school would find very confusing and different. <laughs> well, I think it's important to find like the right balance, uh, right? So, like, have something sporty going on on the weekend and maybe like you know with school clubs and things like that once a week or another thing what are school clubs <laughs> yeah sports clubs True. and then like study hard play hard work hard play hard work hard play hard yeah or just do really well in sports okay our next cultural difference is transportation uh in taiwan we have the car, the motorcycle, the scooters, the train, the MRT, the high-speed rail. What else? You can also take an airplane from one part of the island oh, to yeah. another. <laughs> so you have airplanes too. And I guess you could throw in ferries and boats as well. I thought you like ferries. No, no ferries. <laughs> the large carrying boats that yeah. take you to different islands. Mm -hmm. And so in Taiwan, you have all these options of transportation. In America, we have cars. And planes. Yeah. All from New York okay. to New Orleans to Boston. And then, I, okay, and then we have planes, if you're traveling long distance. But you have cars and planes. Um, trains? Trains, no. Airplanes are more expensive. Or airplanes are less expensive than a train. They're faster. But they're on trains, though. Yes, but no, there's no reason to take, they're more, like uh, cargo transportation, huh, not people. I didn't take the train in the States, so. Yeah, it's just, it's way too expensive. <laughs> I have my own chauffeur. <laughs> now, America, we had a train, but it's just so expensive. It costs more than an airplane and takes longer time. Right. And, and then I guess we do have buses if you're going long distance, but it is not common to take a city bus. Actually, in my over two decades of living in America, I don't think I've ever taken a city bus in the United States. What? Never. Oh, and I forgot, Taiwan, we also have buses. <laughs> that. Those are good. But, good buses. Yeah, like transportation in Taiwan is just so cheap, and just anywhere else in the world, it's just so expensive. The MRT is probably, I think, of all the cities I've been to around the world, I think the MRT is in Taiwan, in Taipei, is probably the best in the world. It's fastest, cleanest, most efficient, mm. um, most... And cheapest as well. Cheap and organized and yeah, I don't, there's not much in the world. But yeah, transportation, all the options in Taiwan that everyone's blessed with here, especially on this island that's with huge mountains, should be hard, but I like how we keep missing eye contact. Makes it easy, <laughs> but in America, we just have cars <laughs> and airplanes. Now, let's talk about food. Food! In Taiwan, eating is just super convenient, and it's a wonder why Asians aren't fat at all. <laughs> so, well, in Taiwan, you have 7 Elevens everywhere Family Marts, OK Marts, just everywhere. Uh, it's open 24 hours. And there are restaurants, night markets, open till real late, really late. And basically, anytime, anywhere, you're hungry, you want to eat something, Taiwan is a perfect place for you to go eat. What's it like in the States? America is much 
much, much different. So when a term of convenience doesn't exist, your most convenient meal will come from your home, coming straight from your refrigerator that you gotta go to a grocery store and buy. For me, here in Taiwan, I could walk to a 7-Eleven within two minutes and buy food. In America, that walk would be about 30 minutes, maybe a five minute drive in my car. Um, so the convenient factor is not there. Um, every place, even when you go and order the food, you know, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to be actually made and prepared, which is not too long, but in Taiwan, it's like two minutes and you have your meal. It's fast, convenient, and cheap as well. Yes. And it, like, if you want to go to a restaurant in Taiwan, everything's fast, convenient, and cheap. And if you want to go to a restaurant in the States, you have to tip them! That's like the craziest thing about America. Like 20%. A lot of people, that's how they make their money is based on tips, and in Taiwan, it doesn't even exist. 10 to 15. Oh, that's why you're the Asian. <laughs> no, but, um, and also a big difference is um, in Taiwan, normally when you cook for large meals, they're, um, you know, shared meals. And this is kind of normal in most, like, Eastern cultures compared to, and then in the West, in America, we um, eat single meals that are made just for us. So sharing is not as common. And it's, it's like things yeah, well, big family meals are a little bit different. But that's just like for the big family meal that happens once a year. <laughs> it's not that big of a thing. I love it though. <laughs> so in America, we like to be different and difficult. And there's some things that America just kind of says that the rest of the world doesn't even consider even a word. And in America, we made it up and we tried to influence on everything. So for instance, we have kilometers and yeah. they use miles. Like what? I don't know. I like it. It's a little bit longer. And in the rest of the world, we use Celsius. And we use Fahrenheit, which really makes no sense. Why is freezing? Freezing in Celsius is zero and boiling is 100. This exactly. makes sense. Yeah. Fahrenheit boiling is 212 and freezing is 32. I don't know, maybe we Different just... logic! We like it to see kind of a little bit hotter. So sometimes it's quite funny because when I'm with my American friends, like, oh, what's the weather like outside? And then they'll give me a Fahrenheit, which is like, you know, 50 something. I'm like, what? No way! That's you must possible. be dying! Yeah. And, and then another big difference is, Angela, how tall are you? <laughs> I know it's, but they use, a lot of people use centimeters, and in America we use feet and inches. Uh, like, how tall are you? I'm like six foot. Like, what, you have six, six feet? Foot like, two. One, two, three, six four, foot six. two. Six foot two. Six foot. Yeah. What's easier to say than 188 centimeters? It's just easier. Like, what, six foot? Like, really? One, yeah. two, six three, foot five, two. Six. They say your forearm, this is one foot. So I'm six. But my point, forearm is like. Well, just uh, spin, <laughs> go up. <laughs> just add a little bit more. Just add a little bit more. Just add a little bit more. <laughs> See, there's always ways around. Like, what are you gonna do with centimeters? Like, ooh, 188. It's too many. You gotta simplify that. But it's more accurate, and the rest of the world uses it. Why? Why not? Okay, another thing is, um, how much do things weigh? In America, we use pounds. Oh my god, I hate that. KG. Kilograms. Grams. Kilograms. Yeah, but those get a little complicated. Americans. I, I don't know, we... I think we should go with kilos, because it makes me sound lighter. Kilos? Kil oh, kilograms. Ki kilogra kilograms. That's another weird word that Americans say wrong. <laughs> Kilograms. So thanks for watching and remember to click subscribe if you're new to my channel and comment down below.